Good morning, folks. We're starting on the southeastern limb, where a gorgeous coronal mass ejection rips away from our star, followed by chain reaction, flare, and ejecta events just north and out ahead on the Earth-facing disk. One destabilization sets off many. The solar flaring in general has plateaued for now. No big flashes like we saw yesterday, and the thin dark plasma filaments all appear stable this morning. Let's jump to spaceweathernews.com to find solar flaring in C range, but indeed, no more M flares and the Earth-facing solar quiet takes another round. Lead sunspots decayed facing Earth, the bigger one behind them lost delta magnetism and has stopped bigger flaring. Even the extended duration flare maker at the limb has gone silent since catching a glimpse of Earth. The solar wind speed, in yellow, keeps dropping. That means we're returning to ambient calm, and Earth's magnetic shield is doing just fine this morning. Quake Factor Review. We have Mars and Jupiter lining up right now in the morning sky, and we have the incoming coronal hole. The big positive opening departs up north while the smaller area is negative off the south. Now please remember yesterday when the left side red power to that coronal hole disappeared. The force dropped out. Watch the dates up top. They do project out a few days ahead. But this morning, not only is there no update, but yesterday's updates are gone now as well. The image we showed yesterday has been removed, and we're now faced to look at projection from three days ago. Odd, but not alone in suspicion today. You might also remember that there was a dramatic spike upward in ice cover down in Antarctica. Now you see it, now you don't. That's both of our incredible readings from yesterday somehow wiped from the record. Top articles of the day begin with Enceladus, Cassini offering up multiple awesome shots on its flyby, the first of many we'll get from its close approaches in the coming days. Amazing look there. Also got one from the ESA about water carving out Mars during floods, and one from NOAA on the anniversary of GOES-1, 40 years of eyes open. In just a bit, I will open the first Observer's Conference, Observing the Frontier, and don't forget to watch for our book release tomorrow. It's going to be on suspiciousobservers.org, and the conference videos will be coming there not long afterwards. But for now, let's kick it to windyty.com and check in on the typhoons. Prayers going to the Philippines, please. They need it. A massive low-pressure note cresting Alaska is driving storm activity up and down the west coast. Off to the east, a low pressure node is complemented by the north central high and drives warm air up in the west and arctic air down in the east between the cells. It is brisk to be sure. Across the pond, our top alert is by far the storm at the coast of Portugal, España. Eyes on it, and down under there is scattered weather, but you've all dealt with way worse. Enjoy the little break. We've got your current conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 4.45 a.m. Eastern Time, and the warrior is stepping in front of Zeus with Medusa standing by for the show. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.